two of the leaders to explain whether they were kicked out or in fact, depending on what you hear, they weren't. Would you please welcome Femi Oluwole and Laura Spirit. We won't let them. Every robbery has its bystanders. The Tory rebels know it's wrong. The Labour Party knows it's wrong. The Prime Minister knows it's wrong. They sit and watch, twiddling their thumbs during the greatest generational heist in history. But we won't let them. We won't let them take away our opportunities to a decent pay and a decent job. We won't let them take away our workers' rights, our human rights, our ability to live, love and work in 27 other countries. But the most important British and European principle we won't let the government take from us is democracy. Nobody voted for this botched Brexit. Mayhem on the Irish border. Companies, talented Europeans leaving. A poor, isolated Britain emerging. And in that Britain, 1.5 million young people have joined the electorate since 2019. Those young people weren't heard then, but they must be heard now. There is one way to protect our principles and to take back what is being stolen from us. A people's vote on Theresa May's disastrous Brexit deal. Theresa May, Jeremy Corbyn, there is no justification, especially not political expediency, for leaving your country's children stranded on a sinking ship. The People's March... The People's March for the People's Vote. We are not the establishment. They, over there in Parliament, are the establishment. And the establishment, over there in Parliament, are messing up Brexit. And we, the people, especially young people, want to take back control. Thank you. You're going to have to buckle up for this one. Okay. I'm here because the conversation that we've been having for the past two years has been broken. We've had Remainers acting like they knew everything about the EU when they voted. As somebody who studied EU law, I can tell you they didn't. We've had Brexiters acting like, saying, well, we won, shut up. As if democracy demands that people are not allowed to express concern for their country's futures. We have seemed to have completely forgotten We seem to have completely forgotten that on both sides, everyone deeply loves this country. That's why we're all here. That's why we've been fighting on Twitter, on Facebook, in debates, on the news, in, in, in our families for the past two years. And that last one, I know how, hum, how painful that one is. But as cliche as it sounds, we have more in common than we think. Our future, our choice, we've been touring the country, going to leave areas such as Hull, Darlington, where I was born, Birmingham, Wolverhampton, Swansea. We've been asking people who voted for Brexit, how do you think it's going? They think it's going terribly. And, and we asked them, well, what did you want from Brexit? They said, from what we gathered, they wanted three things. For the British people to have more control over their country. For a broken NHS to finally be fixed. They wanted things to get better, for their standard of living to get better. Now aren't those things that we all want? Aren't those things that, do we, does any of us have a problem with wanting those three things? No! The question is, is Brexit actually going to deliver that? No! Exactly! Let's look at what we're getting. Theresa May says that for the first two years of Brexit, we're going to be copying the laws of the EU, but we won't have a seat at the table. We won't have any say in those laws. That makes us the least sovereign country, probably in the world. And that even after that, 
purely because it's cheaper for businesses and for consumers to only have to follow a single set of rules when trading with our biggest, closest, cheapest trading partner, we're going to be copying the laws even after that, without having a say. Brexit leaves us less sovereign. Take back control, we are literally losing it. They wanted a better NHS. Well, EU citizens make up 5% of the UK's population, yet they make up 10% of our doctors, which means that not only is EU immigration good for our economy, it's literally keeping us alive. But what does Brexit do? Brexit means that unlike other EU countries, citizens from EU countries don't have the same rights here. And that's why we've seen a 90% drop in EU nursing applications. That's why we've seen one in five EU doctors having already made plans to leave. This is bad for the NHS. Now, they wanted things to get better. Now I could go into the economics of why Brexit is bad, but you either believe experts or you don't. But I will say this, we have an unfair country. Jobs, opportunity, prosperity, investment. That's here in London. Wales, the North East, the North in general, gets nothing. Now, fixing that, similar to, similar to fixing the housing crisis, fixing the NHS, that requires time and resources. What's the only thing the government seems to care about these days? Brexit. What will they be dealing with for the next 50 years if it happens? Brexit. What won't they be fixing? All the problems I just mentioned. And you've got to also remember. And you've got to remember that when things get tight, when the purse strings of Westminster get really pulled, that will send austerity into overdrive. We don't want that. You don't want that. The people who voted for Brexit because they wanted things to get better, they definitely don't want that. Now I'm speaking to Brexit voters. You should be angry as hell as angry as we are right now, because the politicians in positions of trust and responsibility promised you a Brexit that would make your lives better. They promised you a Brexit that would give you a better NHS, more control, and so you have, a be and have better lives. It's taking away all three. Now, you didn't trust the establishment in 2016. You sure as hell! should not trust them now. So make your voices heard. And young people especially, given that you will be raising families in this economy, looking for jobs in this economy, you make your voices heard. Join our future of choice, and let's get a people's vote on the Brexit deal. Excellent. So ladies and gentlemen, we have four speakers left for you. Obviously,